I just can't seem to get enough of these rock formations. And for a change, we're away from the crowds and the road noise in this park. Amazing. Hello world, Uncle Heavy here. Today I'm on location in Sedona, Arizona. Check out that view. I'm here with the lovely Mrs. Heavy Michelle. She's off camera. We're here to check things out, explore, capture some of its magnificence on video. So, no tickets required today to skulk about. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. Do come along. <coughs> Out here, you literally feel like you're on top of the world. It's amazing. Look at that view from here. Spectacular. So quiet, so peaceful. And look at that view back there. This is very cool for a Northeastern to see cacti growing in the wild. But there's some more here as well. You just, you just don't see cacti growing in Northwest New Jersey. It just doesn't happen. Well, maybe in a pot in your house, but not in the wild. Now this batch here looks a little bit more healthy, but still quite prickly. Imagine just falling into it. Not fun. I believe this is called a yucca plant. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comments, but uh, more desert uh, flora. This is very, very cool. Walking in nature, exploring these bluffs. Look at, look at these rocks back here. Isn't that amazing? Positively amazing. Look at these flags that are very Buddhist themed. I think some sort of like prayer cloth and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and be that Disney nerd and say uh, kind of reminding me of uh, Expedition Everest here there's a little offering table here and This is called a stupa and it's considered to be the spiritual body of Buddha. It's very impressive here. Just in the middle here. So these are prayer wheels. It says that they're filled with hundreds of millions of sacred mantras or prayers for peace, like the mantra of universal compassion shown above. Please spin and walk around them as a clockwise direction. When you do, the virtuous energy goes out into the world, bringing peace and blessing to everyone. There's a sign-in sheet here with prayer requests as well. 
beautiful up here. This is the Sedona Airport Overlook. Let's go see what's going on. This is Sedona. So, just look out behind me, that's the town of Sedona. This is truly the million dollar shot. I mean, there are several million dollar shots here, but this one here has to be one of the top three of the million dollar shots. So, check that out. That's absolutely amazing. If you come here, it costs three bucks to park, but if you're gonna be in the area, you so totally have to check this out. It's worth the three dollars. Lots of people here checking out this view, but it's definitely a must do in, in the Sedona area. We're walking out of the scenic area here and going back to the car. I think we're gonna go around town and take a walk, check things out there. Beer! for the elk. So look at that placement right there. Very cool. That sculpture was anatomically correct, so I went ahead and left that part out. You're welcome. This is kind of a cool little shopping area. Lots of artsy stores, but Lots of really awesome sculptures to walk through in between fountains. I really like the way this the buildings are done up here. Very cool. I love the way this fountain lines up with this bluff right here. Very cool. I just kind of noticed here that these trees are all stripped of their bark. One thing that I'm not used to seeing, flowers blooming in February. Lots of psychic and new age type places here. And the center of the new age actually offers UFO night tours. And I don't film this to make jest. I'd, I'd be curious to see what exactly is a UFO night tour. What is that up there? Those are like mannequins hanging on the railing. It's very creepy. What are you? Such a dork. I didn't actually see this before, the little bell over top. It's kind of a little uh, Alamo thing going on here. So this is Oak Creek Vista. Oh my god. Look at the 
Kind of wish I could climb out there and get the shot from over the edge, which is right here. But I have a guardrail here. It's very sunny here. Absolutely loving it. I don't want to go back to Buffalo. A better view of the canyon here. I don't know if you can see right here there's a couple of people rappelling down the rock and this is as close as I can zoom there he is wow. And look, I found the Forestry Service survey marker. I don't see a altitude on there. So here's a nice shot of the switchback we had to drive the other night in complete darkness. That was a thrill. But it, it makes for a great video now. And the great news is... We don't have to drive it today because we're not heading back to Sedona. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. If so, consider throwing me a big thumbs up down below. If you're new to my channel, check out some of my other vlogs. If you like them, consider subscribing. Make sure you hit that bell so you're notified of any future vlogs that I put up. Till next vlog, bye bye. Just getting a video here for posterity's sake. We are on old Route 66 looking for a sign and I don't see one. Just a shot of the side of the road of Route 66 and Flagstaff. Look at right there. There's a historic Route 66 sign. I would love to someday take that drive from Chicago to California before it goes away. But where, you, where do you get your kicks, if that's the case? I have no idea what a kick is. I don't know, but the old saying was, you got your kicks on Route 66.